Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. Alright, so we've dealt with the drow. And the drow dealt mostly with themselves. Ooh, a note. Could it be important? The note reads, I have paid you well for your services. You must help bolster the defenses of this cave complex. My orc warriors will probably be unable to stop the elite warriors of Neverwinter. The note is signed by King Ubold. Well, at least we know he's here. And he was absolutely right. His orc warriors have been totally unable to stop my advance. And looks like we have to keep on moving this way. No door. Ooh, more drow. Okay, okay. Alright, wizard, you buff yourself up. Where are you? There you are. perfect place for an ambush of some kind. But it doesn't appear to be any. Oh, more drought. Anytime you feel like you're coming in this visible again, that's fine with me. Alright, more bullets. Another note, probably the same note. Yep. Alright. Alright, 
that's locked. Okay, Go ahead. okay. Locked, not locked. Ah, uh, it's Ow. done. Ooh, boots. Okay, turkey. Ah, uh, it's done. Okay, turkey. A double X plus two. Ah, uh, it's done. Not really the most spectacular kind of loot, but... Let's just heal up a bit. Alright. Hey! You bolt many arrows. Are you evil? <laughs> Whoops. Actually, let's do that again. Instant replay. Hey, King of Wolf. Are you evil? Why did it miss? Just missed. All right, fine. You know what? I'm not gonna care. He's dead. That's all I need. Let's get it over with. Ah, uh, it's done. Okay, okay. Right, let's level up. Paladin, more concentration, more discipline. Uh, one more point in taunt, one more point in persuade. Fine. Ooh, a new feat. What do I want? Divine shields. Add my Charisma bonus to my armor class for a number of rounds equal to his Charisma bonus. Sounds good. Extra smiting, ye. The feat increases the smiting ability to three times per day. Well, that would be nice, but I probably will forget to use it. Extra turning, that might be useful. Uh, turn six additional times per day. I can already do nine times. Let's see, then. Zen archery. Well, that would require my wisdom to be much higher than my dexterity, and it is not, so. Nope. Thug. Mm. Would give me another few points on my persuade checks, but I don't really have much trouble persuading people, so what what would be the best? Mm, improve power attack? Maybe. Mm. I mean, alertness would also be nice, but I don't know. Or blind fighting, since I'm finding so many uh, invisible critters, but... Nah. I'll just go for a divine shield. Let's stick with a paladin build. Even if it's not particularly interesting. Okay, okay. Did I get any more spells from that though? Ah, uh, it's done. Ooh, rapier. And I probably should also put the boots in one of the bags. Okay, okay. Greater restoration. Anyway, I was looking for spells. I have a fourth level spell. Ah, uh, it's done. What does Holy Sword do? 
This spell transforms the caster's melee weapon into a powerful Holy Avenger, especially blessed with a weapon that, wielded by Paladin, acts like a plus 5 Holy Weapon that dispels magic on hit. Delivers an additional 1d6 divine magic damage uh, against evil aligned creatures and grants the caster a spell resistance of 16. Uh, last for one round per level. I am now level 15, so that's quite a few rounds. The only other spell that's really interesting in this list is Death Ward. Target becomes immune to any death spells like spell like abilities and effects. Holy Sword. Uh, no third level spell, no new second level spell, and no new first level spell, and I don't get any cantrips. Ah, uh, well. Gold piece, silver necklets, fire bullets. And, as we have now leveled... Eh? What can Tommy do for you? I just want to talk. I wanted to, you to continue your story from before. Ah, I guess there's no harm in it. That was such a big mess though, my lord. If you'll remember, the wee demon had given me a one eye. So after he left, I decided it needed to be tested out. Uh-oh. Aye, exactly. It was exhilarating, my lord. The power at my disposal it had me apprentice chores to do, and I decided the ones should do them for me. I animated a broom to do my bidding, and it began to clean the, the floors. I used the one to make a bucket that never ran, out of sh ran short of water. I made the tables walk, the cauldrons dance, the chairs four-step. It was marvelous. I waved my wand, and everything came to life. So, what did the wizard think of this? Well, he wasn't around, naturally. Considering the source of the wand, I didn't exactly want to advertise it. But the broom and was the first problem. It began cleaning more than the floors. It started sweeping the shelves, knocking Halasha's components about, breaking things. I couldn't make it stop. In a panic, I hacked the broom apart with an axe, but then both halves became brooms. I kept hacking and hacking, and suddenly the room was filled with brooms. They were breaking everything. In my haste, I knocked over the bucket, and suddenly the tower began filling up with water. The table was attacking me. I couldn't do anything. The tower was being destroyed. Chaos! Chaos! Oh, the humanity! And then Alasar came back. I can't imagine he was pleased. No. No, he wasn't pleased. He looked like he dunked down at me all mad and disappointed. He was so scary I thought I'd pee my britches. He snatched the wand from me and broke it, and that made all the madness stop. Oh, and he yelled and yelled at me. He practically threw me out of the tower and told me to never come, never to come back. The bright news is, I hear Alasha told some writer about it, and the writer thought it was so amusing he made a play. Think it will be a musical? <laughs> yes! Uh, a fellow named uh, Mick Key, I think, uh, made it into a musical, wasn't it? Mick Key of the Disney clan. But anyway. Uh, just what I think you won't get any stranger. You know, I do feel a bit bad about the whole thing. Not for me. I, I knew I was no wizard. I feel bad for Halasa. He did pretty. He did pretty. Did, yeah, he did treat me pretty good, all things considered. He had a bunch of rare components destroyed that night. Worst of all was these ashes, the ashes of a great warrior. They were for his longevity potion. I've always thought I should try to make it up to him one day, find him those ashes maybe, unless he's gone and died of old age. Well, I have these ashes of an Uthgard hero. Would they serve? Well, now maybe they would at that. Let me think. Aye, aye, I think that would serve Halasar's longevity potion just fine. Thank you, my lord. Here, yeah, since you're such a friend, let me give you this. It's a powerful ring I stole from Sammy way back. Maybe you could use it. Thank you, Tommy. Ah, it's not a problem, my lord. Least I could do. This is the only thing I stole of Sammy that was worth valuable enough for me to keep. I'll send these ashes off to Halasar as soon as I get the chance. Hmm. I wonder if he'll still accept an apprentice at my age. You want to become a wizard now? Sure, why not? With some magic at my hand, I could be the greatest thief that Callenport has ever known. Again! 
Uh, let's get on the way then, my friend. We'll find the, the real words of power and put an end to evil forevermore after adventure awaits us afterwards. I'm sure of it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh well, that's the first henchman quest done. And he's given me a... where is it? A rogue's ring. A ring of the rogue, plus four. Nice ring. Not my style, though. Right, let's get going. Where am I going? Now, I could go back to the uh, Beyrun as well, but we're already on a roll here, so let's keep going. Going all the way outside and to find whatever ever else the word of power is hidden. Somewhere in this moonwood. And at some point we'll probably uh, hand in the head, but for now it's not really a problem. Ettins! Giant skin. They're effortless though. And hill giant throwing rocks. Quite exciting, but mostly useless. over here. Wonder why. I mean it's not like there's a settlement out here or anything or any large group of humans came through. I mean we're close to the spine of the world and I think. Or at least very close to uh, the polar circle. Ooh, dire tiger. And be done with it. Stand still so I can hit you. Yeah. Well, you've well, got warriors didn't do too bad, I guess. They didn't die. Which is better than most allies. If these guys are allies. The first move got that must be entirely on our side. I'm sure they don't mind me borrowing all this stuff. I'm sure they don't need the gold in these barrels. Or these fire arrows. Alright. Can I talk to you fellas? I greet you. Forgive me, but I can't stand can stand for only a short time. The sons of the eagle are known for their hospitality, but in the last hill giant attack I was badly injured. Who are you? We are the Uthgard of the Eagle tribe. Once this land was ours, but when the hill giants attacked came most of our people fled to save And the others came most of our people fled to save the territory. Only the strongest sons of the eagle were left to guard our sacred land. You tell me about these hill giant attacks. Maybe I can help. The giants came down from the mountain plateau to the north in the great raiding parties, ravaging the land. They fell upon the arc from the camps of our tribe, slaughtering many before moving on. Why did the hell hill giants attack your people? 
We must speak to our shaman for his answers. He sees with eyes of eagles that soar over the mountains. He knows what we warriors do not. Why have you not fled with the rest of your tribe? These lands are sacred to the sons of the evil. We who are strongest have vowed to defend the home of our ancestors to our death, that their spirits may find rest in the sacrifice of our blood. I'll be going now. May the soaring eagle watch over you. I will stay here to defend the land for my people, my warrior brothers, in case the giant raiders return. Well, you do that. In the meantime, I'm gonna call this an episode. Thank you for watching. See you all next time.